It's the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion. This is for Wednesday, the 6th of February. I'm Michael Groff. The big concern in the short term around here will be the colder temperatures. Readings around 10 to 15 degrees below normal today and tomorrow. Overnight tonight could see a freeze. That may happen again on Thursday night into Friday morning. We'll see temperatures moderating this weekend with clouds coming in. What about rain chances and that weather for next week? Also, let's talk about all of it. First, the almanac from yesterday, 67 was the high, 50 the morning low. We picked up one one hundredth of an inch of rain just before midnight last night and an additional seven hundredths of an inch. So a total of eight hundredths at Sky Harbor. Some spots saw more and we'll show you that in just a moment. But outside right now here at 6.30 a.m., we've got partly cloudy skies starting out at 50 degrees at Sky Harbor, dew points at 34, humidity 54%, wind from the west at 20 miles per hour, so it is breezy out there, and the barometer is rising. Temperatures around the area this morning, some 40s on the map, 50s as well, as the cooler air begins to filter in behind this very potent weather system that is now exiting the area. Here are the rainfall totals we've seen over the last 24 hours, and by and large, uh, generally less than a tenth of an inch for most spots, although out there by the Verde River in Scottsdale, they had 45 hundredths of an inch. See another couple of spots that picked up over a quarter of an inch, but for the most part, uh, fairly lackluster rainfall around here. The upper air look, you see that very deep, cold upper trough is over our area today, and that's going to help to bring down all that cold air that we're talking about today and tomorrow. But that'll be exiting out into the Plain States and creating a mess. Winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings from the Rockies out over much of the Plain States. Dense fog advisories out ahead of that system along the Gulf Coast and in parts of the Midwest. Convective outlook for today. We've got a slight risk of severe storms around Plano, Texas, up toward McAllister, Oklahoma, Harrison, Arkansas, over toward Clarksville, Tennessee, with a marginal risk for many of the adjacent states. And precipitation valid through next Wednesday morning from the WPC. Rainfall amounts here in the valley, nothing. Statewide, well, maybe a little bit over eastern Arizona. That's from the precipitation we're getting this morning. Could we see a little bit late this weekend and as we go into next week? Well, there are indications of an unsettled weather pattern, and we'll detail that now as we take a look at the models. Here we go to the GFS, the 06Z run valid at 5 o'clock this afternoon. This is the upper look at 500 millibars, or approximately 18,000 feet in the atmosphere. There's our cold upper trough here out in the west, a big ridge in the east, so a fairly high amplitude weather pattern. So for us down at the surface today, it'll be breezy, partly sunny this morning. I guess we'll still mention a chance of a shower. I don't think that's going to happen, though. Uh, maybe uh, in the northeast valley, I suppose. Otherwise, we'll become mostly sunny as we go through the day today. High temperatures will be very chilly. We'll be in the low to middle 50s which again is around 15 degrees below where we should be this time of year. Tonight, clear skies and with a dry air mass in place, the breezes will calm down. Lows will be around 30 in the cold spots, mid-30s in the mid-city. So probably a good idea to cover your plants if you live just about anywhere. Even if you're in downtown, I would suggest doing that just to be on the safe side. And then tomorrow, sunny and again, cool highs in the mid-50s. But we'll start to warm it up as we get toward Friday. The sun continues Mostly sunny skies and highs in the low to middle 60s. Then as we get to the weekend, broad troughing will continue here out over the western states. And so we'll start to see clouds coming back in as another wave approaches us from the west. We'll call it mostly cloudy, although there'll be mid and high level clouds. I think some sun filters on through. High temperatures Saturday, low and middle 60s. On Sunday, the GFS continues to seesaw on the idea of some precipitation, some very light precip here for south central Arizona, including Phoenix. So we'll put a token 20% chance of rain in the forecast for then. Even if we see anything, it'll be light. It'll be relatively widely spaced. Not everybody's going to get wet. But high temperatures should be, again, low to middle 60s with mostly cloudy skies. Now, as we get to next week, we're going to keep the forecast dry, as in precipitation free. But there will be plenty of clouds around, partly sunny both Monday and Tuesday. High temperatures, low and middle 60s. And as we go to a week from today, this is Wednesday. The 13th of February, we see a pretty impressive Rex block out there over the eastern Pacific. That's a big ridge that sits over the north, uh, the northern Pacific, the Gulf of Alaska, and an area of low pressure that's cut off underneath that, sort of pinned there. And so that'll just result in a deep-layered west-southwest flow for us. So we'll continue with clouds, maybe some intermittent showers, especially over northern Arizona, Still remains to be seen at the moment. Going to keep the forecast dry through at least Wednesday for the most part. 
But as we go to Thursday, this is the 14th, we see a short wave dropping down the west coast of Canada into the Pacific Northwest. That's going to help to pull that cutoff low east and start to bring it our way. We'll continue with the zonal flow, partly sunny skies, and highs will continue in the mid-60s. Here's the end of the forecast period, though. This is Friday the 15th. Cold upper trough over the Pacific Northwest, deep southwest flow in here. And now we're starting to bring all that moisture we've been seeing out over the eastern Pacific for a while, north and eastward. And again, this is a trend that we've been seeing on the models for a long time. It's way out toward the end of the period, though. A lot of time to watch this. This still is somewhat questionable, but the GFS loves the idea of bringing a lot of moisture, copious amounts of moisture into the desert southwest. In fact, much of the western United States somewhat of a subtropical moisture tap. That would spell heavy rain and heavy snows for much of California and even here into Arizona. We could see some significant precipitation. But I remind you, this is way out toward fantasy land. Uh, the end of next week, a lot is likely to change between now and then. But the overall idea of below normal temperatures and somewhat unsettled conditions does appear likely for our weather through at least the next 10 days. Let's check the temperatures through the period coming off of the GFS Ensemble. And with unsettled weather for the next 10 days, we expect temperatures to remain at or below average for a while. And I don't think anybody's complaining about that because we all know what's coming eventually, right? And that's going to do it for the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. My next video back here tomorrow morning. If you like our videos, be sure to subscribe so that whenever we post a brand new one, you'll get the notifications. And of course... Your comments, questions, and suggestions are always encouraged. I always try to reply to all of them. Be safe out there. Thank you so much for watching, and you guys have yourselves a fantastic Wednesday.